This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, now then, I kind of let the cat out the bag a little bit on Friday during the uh, live stream that we were doing this solo today. Um, in case you weren't there, it is the Peter Green solo from the original and some might say best version of Black Magic Woman. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the Santana version, but for me this one just kind of inches ahead for whatever reason. Uh, feel free to make your own choice, obviously. Anyway, coming up next you're going to see me demonstrating the solo and then a brief explanation of what's going on in the solo in terms of you know note choices, scales, chords, etc, etc. All the usual stuff. So I'll tell you what, here it is. Okay, as is uh, usually the case, it appears to start off by looking at the chord sequence we're playing over. And it goes like this. D minor. To A minor. Back to D minor. Then G minor. Then a nice little run of chords that takes us all the way home. We've got D minor. Then you can either think of this as a D minor 7 or an F, but with a C bass note. Uh, then B flat. Then A7, which resolves us nicely back onto the D minor chord again. And it's two cycles of that chord sequence that the solo is played over. Excuse me while I just reach for the tap. Uh, as you would expect, with something that heavily, um, you know, centred around D minor, we're going to be using D minor pentatonic, and uh, that's exactly the case here. And most of the uh, solo takes place in this pattern, but we do occasionally go up to this top end of what you would call pattern two, and couple of occasions where we come down into that bottom end of pattern five there. Uh, a recurring theme throughout the solo is the use of uh, call and response or question and answer phrasing. It's a bit of a stretch to say it's there all the way through, but it's, it's in evidence in a few places, most notably at the start, where we start off with this pair of phrases. There's the question, and then we have the answer. Like that, you can hear that's got a very much a, a question and answer kind of thing going on. Next up, we have this. And you can kind of say that's a question and answer thing. You could probably call this part the question. And this part the answer. And notice that we're finishing on a G note there. That's because the uh, chord has now arrived at the G minor chord. And because we've got a G minor chord, if I play the chord shape like that, you can see that, that chord has this B flat note in it. And he includes it here. After that initial G note, there he goes. Just in, puts it in once. Nice, subtle little touch. There it is there. And then we have uh, a fairly standard little bluesy kind of thing. And as 
I say there, you can see him kind of slipping down into the uh, bottom end of pattern five there. I'll just play that bunch of licks again slowly. At which point you're halfway through the solo and there's a bit of a break. And during that break, you stomp on a huge reverb effect uh, for the next part, which starts off up in pattern two of the D minor pentatonic with this little lick. That there, basically a nice big long bend with a big um, reverb on it. And then we stay in this pattern two area uh, for a while because we get... That little bunch of licks there again just kind of fooling around with the top end of that pattern there uh, next we go back into uh, the um, the kind of comfortable uh, comfort zone of pattern one uh, with this little lick there we go then uh, we have uh, more just familiar position one pentatonic shenanigans that goes uh, like this. Let me just turn the page in the tab. Again, landing strongly on the uh, G note there for the arrival of the G minor chord. And then we've got that little kind of thing there. It's all fairly straightforward stuff, and that's the genius of it, you know, kind of taking simple licks and just playing them at the right moment um, and getting the most out of them. Uh, we're into the dying licks of the solo now. We have uh, this. There we go. Again, you can kind of make the case for that being a question and answer lick. Here's the question. And then the answer. Like that. And that's what's going on in this solo. Um, it's simple, but it is so, so effective. Um, so see what you can get from it. And of course, as always, uh, the tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with the jam track and that little clip of me demonstrating and explaining the solo, all of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address right there, link in the description. That's just a special little thank you to all of my wonderful Patreon supporters. Thank you guys. Much appreciated. I'm very grateful. And that's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it if you're interested in supporting the channel all the links are in the in the description check them out thank you in advance for doing so much appreciated once again there's the patreon there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do to help me keep the lights on around here much appreciated and i'll just say don't forget the uh, live stream on friday i mentioned it earlier if you're new to the channel every friday 5 p.m uk time we do spend about an hour doing a live stream where we just have have a beer and a chat and it's a great way to kick off the weekend love to see many of you there and with that i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you for your time thank you for watching stay well folks stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now <laughs>